everybody. Um, welcome to All About Me, Damn It vlog. Um, I'm your host, Mr. Dawn. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out lighting, and I'm sorry, it's a little difficult um, when you don't have a tripod. I've, there's an island here, and I've sat things in the island, or on top of the island, kind of found a few bowls and different things like that. But, um, yeah, it looks like a beautiful day today. I slept in longer than I wanted to. It's almost 11 here, of course, 10 at home. Um, but I could not sleep last night, so it was... So there debunks that. <laughs> that, that I was sleeping better here. It obviously was just exhaustion. Um, so I, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed because... I, I had plans today and, um, and, uh, I'm, I'm tired. Um, really, really, really tired. I wish there was some patio furniture here that I could kind of sit outside in. Uh, there's nothing, there's, um, a kitchen chair I could probably try to grab, but it, they're, they're not very comfortable. I I don't even have, I should have brought one of my little fuzzy blankets that um, I was thinking of bringing. I could at least put it on the ground and maybe do some stretches and yoga, but mm, I don't know. Um, there's a, a towel, a floor towel that I might, I might, I might grab that. I just don't, you know, it's not my space. I want to be really careful about making sure I'm not doing anything. Any damage. I'm not putting any, I'm not creating any damage. Or this <laughs> cute squirrel just bouncing around back there. Really cute. Um, doesn't seem to be too much wind, so maybe I'll try to go for a brief walk. I don't know. You know, I don't feel like it. I probably should. Although, uh, one of the things I haven't shared with you is I have, a, I have an ulcer on my foot. Um, it's something I've struggled with for a long time and I have a foot ulcer that is just, it's having a difficult time healing. When you're diabetic and, um, you know, th you, things tend to heal a lot slower. I've really noticed that. And then as you get older, as you get a as you age, you know, when I hit past 50, I've noticed that, you know, my skin doesn't tend to heal as fast. And I used to be a really quick healer. I used to never scar. But, you know, your skin changes, it loses its elasticity, it loses its resilience. Oh, joys, joys, joy of getting older. I will say some of the good things about getting older, I don't care as much about what other people think. Um, well, here, I'm talking in generalities here. Let's just talk in generalities because I still struggle, struggle. I'm still body conscious. I still like self-image, all that stuff. That was just rammed down my throat in the 80s. Um, so I still struggle with that and unfortunately passed a lot of that on to my, my kids. Well, uh, one in particular, I guess. Um, didn't mean to. Really didn't mean to. Um, but so some of the good things, you know, I, I don't care near as much. Um, I let, I, and because I have worked really diligently on, on myself, you know, and healing from trauma and working on, uh, working on things, I, I let things go a lot faster. Things fall off my back a little better. I'm not as sensitive. But anyway, um, so walking and doing any kind of mobile exercise is really difficult when your foot is in, in pain and it's not healing. And the more I, I, I do walk, um, the worse my ulcer gets. And so it's been this really strange, interesting balance of, you know, trying to, trying to take care of that. I'm <clears throat> seeing a podiatrist to try to help. Um, offloaded my foot with different things, you know, um, devices and stuff, trying to keep um, the load um, off of. It's a, it's on my toe. It's on it's it's on my big toe, the bottom of my big toe, kind of between um, the pad and the. Uh, it, it's just a no wrong place. So, so uh, you know, another thing you kind of have to deal with and. 
<clears throat> so, um, but you know, for the other, for the most part, thought I'd put on my blue today. I, I guess I left my blue shirt at home. I've got my, I love this. This is so pretty. Um, because I am a little chill, chilled a little bit, um, in here. Uh, I haven't made coffee or anything. I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to stick with water. I will say, um, I'm making improvements because I stayed away from all carbs yesterday, all sugar. Well, there wasn't, well, yeah, there's still Coke in here, but there, so all sugar, all carbs, totally stayed away from all of that yesterday, ate very healthy. Um, it was very difficult because when I, when you, when I can't sleep, I always want to reach for something. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> you know, the other thing I've noticed too, I guess I do yawn um, during the day when I'm not filming. Um, when you're in pain and you're kinda, you tend to hold your breath um, sometimes I, and not breathe through it. When I'm not filming and I'm not, my mind's not on, on something else, I, you know, I, I practice my breathing to try to move through pain. But, uh, when I'm filming, I just, I guess I don't think about it. And so I think I, I, I end up yawning. Which I have to be careful because that'll, that'll start my trigeminal tics. That's for sure. Um... I've got a lot of videos that I need to put out. I think that's what I'm going to try to concentrate on today is working um, some more on my cardigan and um, but then trying to figure out how to dice and splice a few of the videos that I have I that I even took and didn't get up um, before I left. There was a couple of them um, showing kind of introducing my trip here <laughs> and then also um, kind of talking about some of my current projects that I'm working on at home, which I miss, I really miss. I started realizing I had a lot to catch up on. And then I saw a couple of videos of my dogs and I, I'm like, my heart sank today. Knowing I'm not gonna see them today, when I get home, then I saw my grand, you know, some pictures, some, some video of my granddaughter and I'm like, oh gosh, I miss her and I'm like crazy. So. You know, a few more days, and maybe th this was all meant to be in some grand scheme of things. Still haven't heard from Mr. Wonderful. Doesn't like I get. It doesn't surprise me. I, like I told you yesterday, was teetering back and forth with whether or not I was going to reach out to him. Um, and I, you know, he doesn't deserve that, and so I'm not going to do that for him. But I think. For myself, um, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna try to do that today. And here's why. Here's my reasoning behind that. Um, because I think I mentioned at one point that I'm really trying to, to change my habits of how I react to different things. You know, uh, emotional uh, response. You know, when I have a, a built up a bit of emotion, or I'm overwhelmed, or uh, you know, cl uh, uh, climate. Well, climate, yes, but um, conflict. And I haven't reached out to him since mon Monday. Yeah, Monday. Tuesday. No, it was Sunday, I guess. So I think um, I think that I'm going to kind of draft something today, just something really just minor, uh, small, and just you know. And, and say, you know, and ask, and basically just be the, take the upper, you know, take the up, the high road, I guess, as Obama, as Michelle would say, Michelle Obama would say, take the high road and just, you know, are, how are you? Are you okay? Um, time, you know, there's been enough, some, some space between everything that happened and would you like to talk? And, you know, I'm here until, I'm here for a while. So, um. So I figured I would do that. I, I don't think I'll hear from him. and But at least looking back at this experience, I can say that, you know, I did take the upper road and um, 
because I'm getting all of my stuff out here, you know, all my crap out here and uh, through video logging. And if he's ever interested, he can come and look at some of this. Of course, I don't know, he may not be too excited about looking at some of this. Um, I haven't been near as brutal as that I, prob I, I, I could be. Um, uh, but anyhow, um, so that's, that's kind of my thought. When I struggle though with energy and I'm kind of like this and I don't wake up and, and I haven't slept, slept well, cause I, I did, I tossed and turned, I, I, um, I had this song just stuck in my, that stupid jelly roll song. <laughs> what an interesting name to jelly roll, really. <clears throat> I'm a lost cause. It's just kind of what kept rolling around in my head. I'm a lost cause. Baby, don't take your chance on me. I'm so damaged beyond repair. But you know what? I don't believe that. And so it kind of was, it was angering me because I'm like, why is this stuck in my head? Why is, how I, but see, the songs and um, songs, and little bits of movies and stuff, things like, especially songs, it's mainly songs, it gets stuck in my head. I don't know, does it, does that happen with everybody else? I, I've talked to so many different people about it. Um, some people don't have any idea what I'm talking about, and then there's other folks, oh yeah, yeah, I, I can't get rid of it. And then you'll have, I'll have different advice, you know, well, you need to listen to it, and, uh, and over and over again, and well, I don't think I'm going to, that's not the kind of song I want to be listening to right now. It's already rolling around in my head. Uh, and so um, I, I'm not quite sure why I even tried, uh, why I, I guess let me finish. I have a bad habit of not finishing my sentences, but uh, I don't, and I think that's because my head goes so quickly. I'm already moved on to the next thing and I forgot that I've actually not spoken it, but um. You know, I, now that, now, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I'll get there again. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Everything that. Uh, I think what um, I'm going to try to do, though, is put on some other music, really happy music this morning. I, I did put on different music while I was sleeping, some sleeping music, kind of nothing with, with um, words. And. And it really did help soothe me and get me there. I wish I could have taken a shower, but I just couldn't get into the shower. And I don't know what was blocking me from that. <sighs> um, so a, a whole kind of list of different struggles this morning. Um, I do think a lot of it is being alone, you know, without my dogs. I'm curious what, um, how I would be feeling in if I had a dog or had a, a friend here or, or something. Um, I don't know. I guess Denver's getting hammered. Um, I was about to look at the news to see how much snow they were getting. Um, I'm really glad I'm missing it. <laughs> um, really glad I am missing it. I, I, I'm pretty sure I have enough food and I don't have to worry about going to the store again, but I'm almost out of cream and I was thinking, well, I could see how fast Amazon Fresh can make it here. And, you know, and I don't know about you, but sometimes you, you know, I can walk over to the store or I could do this, I could grab an Uber, you know, but by the time you finally get, get there, like to a point to where you make it happen, <laughs> It's two or three days later and you're already home, right? I, I, I struggle with Uber. I struggle with um, not having control of my own vehicle or having my own vehicle. If I would have been able to rent a car, I, I know I would have been out by now in, in, and played around because I'm not dealing with the kind of elementals that I was dealing with at home with getting out. No ice, no freezing cold, having to bundle up a million different layers and all these other things. And so I do really believe that I would have gotten out. Um, I was very much looking forward to at least going to 
a yarn shop or Joann's and grabbing some squishy yarn or something. And, and so in some ways, I've done myself a disservice because I'm not allowing, I don't have the tools in order to, to feel a little better. But then there's a, another part of me is like, well, you have other tools that you can use because at home you can't always get out. Um, this is definitely a challenge. What are some of the other things that you can do to try to get yourself through this? You know, like taking a shower or um, finding the appropriate thing to watch on television or, you know, watching different crochet videos or cottagecore videos or whatever calms you down. There's a lot of cottagecore kind of things that I like to watch or um, Korean uh, videos of, you know, that uh, I don't know if anybody else is watching those that mommies are cleaning or I don't know. There's just different things that kind of make me happy. And it's, and it's interesting because I am such an advanced crocheter that um, I, I can't sit there and watch a tutorial anymore. You know, I, I just don't do anything like that. Sometimes I'll watch it briefly um, to, to kind of get the overall, but then I can't watch the whole thing. So it's, it's hard to find different tutorials that I, I like. Although, um, especially when I don't have yarn here to play with. You know, I only have, you know, I only have this. Um, well, and this. So I, I can get to working on the flowers, maybe because I haven't really worked on those. Um, anyway, go back and go go back to the fresh. I think I think that's one of the things I need to do. Let's just order some cream and butter and, um, you know, I, because I have hot wings. Well, I have wings here and I do have some red hot, uh, but I have no butter. And I guess I have avocado oil. I've never done anything with avocado. I guess I could mix that. There's powdered cream here, but I don't want to use the hosts up, and that is so bad for me. Um, and I'm doing so well right now eating clean. Um, so I guess I just need to look and see what I have to get myself through until Saturday morning. And I can all I can I've already downloaded the Uber app, and um, I can go ahead and play around with that and look at that to see. Um, so I can get ready of getting myself together for Saturday. Oh, I won't be just able to see my granddaughter for very long on Saturday, but um, it'll be good to see her for just a little while. And that's okay because I have a lot of cuddling to do. <laughs> my dogs are gonna, they're not gonna leave me alone. They're just going to maul me. They're gonna maul me. I mean, I go down, I just go to Starbucks or something or I'll go Pick up, pick up the medication to the pharmacy or something in, and they are, they're killed. When I come home, they are. And there's times to where I'll just have to run upstairs and lie down in my bed and <laughs> just cuddle for a while. Um, and it's my fault because I take them everywhere. I, I, I want them to get used to the car. I mean, I wanted them to be used to the car. Motley had to get used to it, but now, you know, he really wants to go. So I take him everywhere I go. I, I just don't, I won't leave him in the car because I'm just too scared. So, you know, um, when I am feeling halfway decent and I want to go for a ride and, and go to a yarn store or something, um, and they're in the car, I'm like, I end up going home because I, uh, I don't want, I'm just too scared of leaving them in the car. I just don't trust people. And I don't, um, you know, used to be, I used to be able to leave my dogs in the car just to run in someplace, but they're my babies, just like I wouldn't leave a baby in the car, so, or a kid in the car. I don't care how old they are, so. Uh, not that I ever left my kids alone in the car back in the day. It wasn't safe then, either. Oh, so my emotions are a little bit all over the place. Ah, uh, ah, uh, itch, 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 itch. I've got, oh, I'm going to have to end this. Starting to, um, starting to tick and itchy, so I will take care of myself. You guys take care of you, okay?